Extraordinary new video obtained by CNN. Siti Aisha celebrates her birthday at a restaurant in the Malaysian capital. Just hours later, police say Aisha took part in the killing of Kim Jong-un's half-brother at the Kuala Lumpur airport. Tonight, Malaysian officials say Aisha, a young mother of one from Indonesia, and another woman from Vietnam, Duan T. Huang, are being charged with murder. They could be hanged if they're found guilty. This is an extraordinary situation here. Uh, you have these women who are claiming that they were duped into this scenario. The families of both women claim they thought they were taking part in a TV show prank when they accosted Kim Jong-nam at the airport and rubbed VX nerve agent in his face. City Aisha's aunt says she previously used body lotion and tomato sauce in what they believed were TV stunts. But Malaysia's police inspector isn't buying it. She knew very well that it is toxic and she needs to wash her hands. A friend of Siti Aisha's who asked CNN not to show her face said Aisha was easily manipulated. She was naive. Whatever people said, she would believe. The Vietnamese suspect, Duan Thi Huang, once appeared on a Vietnamese singing competition show, her brother told the New York Times. And the brother says she posted photos on Facebook under the name Ruby Ruby. They were clearly expendable and, uh, and kind of left out there to be thrown under the bus and to fend for themselves. They are going to take the fall for this very likely, unless somehow the other individuals are apprehended, which seems unlikely. Malaysian officials are looking for four North Korean suspects who they say were the women's handlers, but they believe those men are now back in Pyongyang. South Korean officials say Kim Jong-un ordered the hit on his half-brother. The North Koreans deny it. Tonight, a diplomatic showdown is unfolding. A high-level delegation from North Korea has arrived in Malaysia and is pressing the Malaysian government to hand Kim Jong-nam's body to them. The Malaysians refuse to release the body unless a member of the Kim family comes forward to give a DNA sample or to claim the body. Kim Jong-nam does have an adult son who lives in Macau, but analysts say he may not show up in Malaysia. There needs to be uh, actions taken to ensure the security of the son if he should appear, because in my personal view, I think he would be in danger. And even if the body somehow were handed over to the North Koreans, experts say, there's no guarantee the body would be treated properly. Given the way Kim Jong-nam was killed with a chemical weapon, the fact that the regime tried to assassinate him once before, and given the way Kim Jong-un deals with his perceived enemies these days, South Korean intelligence now says five North Korean security officials have just been executed with anti-aircraft guns.